Hello guys and welcome to my very first track guide art Lime Rock. Now it's been requested that I do a few track guides um by a couple of people in the stream. So the start of a new new I racing season I thought I'd uh I'd give it a go, but it's my very first time doing this, so um let me know in the comments what you think and what I can improve on. Uh remember I do stream five days a week on Twitch. If you want to pop over and pop a follow, or if you've got any questions, then feel free. And uh, we may as well just get into it. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, I've set a couple of, a couple of lap times here. Uh, my quickest lap, which was the one we're going to look at, which is a fifty-seven one five zero, is a couple of small mistakes doing the lap. I'm pretty sure fifty-sixes are possible. Um, but this is the quickest I could do. Today, I've I've literally just done this lap, and these these other bunch of laps as well. Um, pretty much most of them in the fifty sevens. This lap twelve, fifty seven one. Okay then, guys, we start the cockpit. We're on the uh, on the start straight here, as we're going down towards turn one. Uh, I'm looking for this two marker. Uh, if I go forward a bit, as you can see. I've started breaking pretty much on it. Oh, I'll chase you. Um, when I start breaking, so I'm breaking probably a car's length in front of it. Um, I'm sure on warmer tires you can break slightly later, but to be safe, uh, I'm breaking a car's length in front of it. As we go in the corner, I'm immediately going down in the third gear from fifth. Uh, I'm a bit wide here, but I'm going for the late apex. You can see it, the car eventually comes in as close to this. I don't particularly like to hit these white curbs. They tend to slow the car down more than anything. So get as close to them as you can. Um, but try not to clip them. Okay, halfway through the corner, as you can see, I'm just letting the car coast down here. Trying to keep as much momentum up as I can. And about halfway, I'm back to full throttle. I keep going. Okay, as you can see, I'm clipping this curve just very slightly here. And if you take any more than this, it will slow the car down and you lose uh, probably not too much time because then the next corner is very close, but probably half a, half a tenth or so. Okay, keeping the foot flat all the way down here. The next corner coming up. Okay, what I would what I like to say here is on this lap I'm I'm quite wide here. I'm not normally this wide going into this corner. Uh I'm normally sort of a car's width over, I'm normally here. Somewhere. And as we carry on on the corner, it's a very late apex. Um as we start bringing the car in. I haven't actually got a gear selector up on the screen here. Uh, but I am actually staying in third gear. So back, back on this turn two, I drop down the third gear on th this corner. I'm in third gear all the way through here, and I keep it in third gear. Now I know some people like to drop it to second gear to get more rotation. Um, but me and my driving style, I like to keep it in third. Um, so it's it's very, very how your driving style is and what you prefer. Um. Okay. We come to the corner, as you can see it's very late. Um take as much of the curb as possible here. It's a very flat curb, so you can take as much of it as you can. Um I'm I'm pretty sure you can even take more than that without losing too much time. Uh, but be careful because if you do take too much it is a slowdown. The most important part of this corner though is to try and not go too fast to it. I go to cockpit here. All the way around. As you can see, I'm not really, I mean, I'm pretty much a 75% thought of here because I, the most important thing is to keep as far left as you can. Because as soon as I go back to full, full throttle here, I'm staying at full throttle all the way with this next right-hander. Maybe a little bit of a wobble there, a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, slightly wide and clipped the, clip the grass, but I didn't lose any time. No, I probably lost time, but not very much. Okay, down this little straight. 
Uh, I'm looking at this tree, and I'm looking at the start of the curb in here. Now I was ve I was in I was in the habit of tapping the brake coming out to this corner, but I don't tend. If you watch the fall here, I don't tap the brake at all. It is just a lift down to about thirty percent throttle. We have a look at the cockpit view. Um, I'm going through here. I'm looking at this curb in, and I see this curb. As soon as you go past there, I'm lifting off the throttle down to about thirty percent. As we turn in, get as close to this curb as possible. Again, don't touch these curves because they will throw you out into the outside wall, and it will slow the car down. So you want to get to it as close to it as you possibly can. As I'm pretty much on it there. Um, and then halfway through this corner, or pretty much as soon as I hit this apex, I am, or just before even, just as, as soon as I hit, I am back to full throttle and staying at full throttle. Let the car drift wide. Uh, you can, you can go. It's now 27 Celsius. Thank you, Pooh Chief. Um, you can go wide out here, um, and I see lots of people do it. I just didn't do it on this lap. I normally do. Um, you just got to be careful that over the top of this hump, if the car gets very loose, and as you can see, my car is uh, just gets a little bit slidey over the top here. But luckily in a skip bar, it's very easy to hold. You shouldn't have too much trouble. The most important thing is to not lift. Full throttle, 100%, and you won't lose any time. Okay, this next corner. Um... I don't think I've really got a brake marker for this. Um, I'm sort of doing it off just uh, by experience more than anything. Coming up to this corner. I mean, I'm not re I'm me and not really looking at anything. We may break in here. Perhaps use this tree on the left hand side. A sort of brake marker. Anyway, okay, is it, uh, um, again, I'm not braking through this corner at all. Sometimes on, on cold tyres, I will tap the brakes on here, just to get that turn in. Um, and it stops the running wide. As you can see, I'm running very wide on this corner. Probably too much so. And this has probably lost me a tenth or half a tenth going running this wide. Um, but if you just tap the brakes on the turn in to this corner, then you'll get a much better turn in, and the exit will be much better. Okay, and then down to the final corner. Uh, it is flat out, not on cold tyres, but on when when you warm the tyres up after a couple of laps, this, this corner is flat out. So I'm in fourth gear here. Um, it is flat out, and then they go to fifth gear about halfway through the corner. As you can hear, you can hear the shifter. You can see the little blip on the uh, on the clutch as we go up to fifth gear halfway through the corner. Clear a run ride, and then we are down to the start finish line. So, it's pretty much it for the track guide. Uh, it's a very nice track. There's a few tricky corners coming up, especially over the top of that hump where the car gets very loose. Um, as I said, there's a couple of mistakes on that lap, so 56s are definitely possible. Um, and probably mid-56s with a, with a good draft. No doubt we'll get tr quicker as the week goes on. Um, as I said, this is, this, this is my first couple of laps of this track this week. And it's actually the first time I've been at Lime Rock in a skippy. So it should be a good week coming up. Um, Alright, thanks for watching guys. If this video helped you out, please smash the like button. If you got any comments, drop some comments in the, in the comment section below. Uh, I'll try and improve these as time goes on. We'll, we, I'll start doing one every week. Um, so make sure you smash the subscribe button. And uh, hopefully the quality will improve a little bit as the week go as the weeks go on. And uh, and remember, I do stream on Twitch five days a week. So if you want to pop by and say hello, please do. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.